Hey, everybody. How you doing? This is Gary Bledsoe, and I'm coming to you from my home office here in San Antonio, Texas. And I just want to just thank everyone that's on this call. Um, you know, as you all know, that Lynette and I used to do these calls every week. We used to do it for, for our company. But I decided to be able to put my, I guess you can say, preaching into practice. A lot of people say, hey, you sound like a pastor. You sound like a preacher. You sound like this. Um, you know, I guess I, I want to put that in practice because I feel I have a mission in this world, and my mission is to motivate people. I want to, people to believe in themselves because, you know, once we come, you know, once we come into this world, we're, we're all born with, as a champion. We're all born as a, 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 you know, as a winner. We're all born successful. But the problem is as we get older, you know, society, uh, the media, friends and family, uh, things like that, they, just, they, they put these things on us, and we create these thoughts in our head based on what people teach us. And then we wind up, you know, living that life and feeling like we can't be successful, feeling like we can't be winners, feeling like we can't go out there and make things happen, go out there and achieve the goals that we want. So we started, you know, believing those stories. And I always believe that the only way that you're going to move forward in your life is you have to rewrite your brain. You have to rewrite the stories that were told to you that you used to tell yourself believing that those stories were true. And I know that sounds like a tongue twister, but it's a serious thing. These calls here are going to be every two weeks. They're going to do these every two weeks at 6 p.m. on Central time on Sundays just to give you that two-week motivation. I would do it every week, but it's, it, it would be a lot for me just to give you that motivation. You know, we, we have a lot of calls for our companies, the different various companies that we're in that are how-to calls, but rarely we have that Les Brown call, that, that motivational call, that charge that's going to say, hey, you know what? I'm, he's right. I can do it. I can believe it. That this guy that grew up in the South Bronx that, you know, came from nothing is out there, you know, just doing what he has to do. You know, if he can go ahead and lead the charge, I'm going to listen to him. I'm going to go ahead and do what I have to do. So I'm going to start these calls off at the top of the hour, always at 6 o'clock, and they basically I'm going to give you some announcements of what Lynette and I are doing. If you're willing to show up, you're willing to be there, it's on you. But these are not going to be company-specific. They're just going to be some announcements of some things that we are out there doing to be able to help people, you know, invite people to certain things. And if you want to join them, you want to join them, you want to go there, you want to get up, we're always going to be announcing that. I'm not here to sell anybody anything. All we're here to do is share the information that we have received over the years because we learned from a lot of millionaires out there. Lynette and I are still learning from millionaires out there on how to be able to move from the, from the, the area of unsuccessfulness to the area of successfulness. And it, it's a journey. It's going to be a journey. It's not going to be a right-away type of thing. It's going to be a journey. It's going to be a short 30-minute call. I may never go over 30 minutes, but if I do it, maybe five or ten minutes more. I'm going to try my best not to do that because I want to respect everybody's time. Plus, I have other things that I have to take place that are going to be taking place on Sunday. So our first announcement is, is that today, at, right after this call, at the top of the hour, 7 p.m. Central, we're going to be posting, we're going to be playing a webinar, a live webinar, um, in which people who may, you know, this is not a business opportunity. Let me just set that out right now. This is not a business opportunity that we're talking about. We're just telling you, showing you ways, something that we found, uh, an awesome travel club to be able, like we're looking on, online today, looking at different ways to book in Legoland and Disney World for our kids, booking, uh, you know, uh, Corpus Christi in Texas, going out to the shore, things like that at discount wholesale prices. So if you're interested in looking at that, you know, get back with us and send a message on Facebook. It's going to be at 7 o'clock to, to, right after this call, 7 p.m. tonight. Um, and also on Tuesday, Tuesday, we, we're going to be doing a web. It's going to be a, a, an awesome webinar, which you will have unlimited access to once you decide to make the monetary investment of 995. It's going to be showing you how to get your website uh, so, shown everywhere, you know, online, videos, uh, backlinks, things like that. Because you know, if you look at what's going on right now, earlier today, my wife and I were watching the weather, and we saw that there's another storm coming to the northeast where we are originally from. I mean, it, you know, imagine trying to you know, go out there and grow your business. You, you, you can't. But you why? Because you've got to go out and brave the snow, and other people are going to say the same thing, so they're not going to come and join your business. So the way you get that done is use the Internet. The power of the Internet has changed so many things. Use the Internet, and we're going to show you the things that we've done because 90% of all of our business that we've ever made, 90 to 95%, was, was created online. So we're going to have that webinar. If you need details, we'll post that in the, in the event page you feel, or, or send a message to us on Facebook. And, and then, as always, we have our training products that are out there designed to help you. There's going to be how-to and a lot of motivational stuff on there. You're welcome to go get that. You can go to wealthcreationacademy.info. Once again, that's wealthcreationacademy.info. 
feel free to take a, a look at what's there so that, you know, something that may be able to help you to get that, that one. See, I, when I make monetary investments or I make the time investments to listen to something, I never listen to it or never purchase it with the idea that it's going to completely change my life based on everything that that person has, is teaching on that. But what I do do is I do know that if, if, if I could just grab one thing or if I could just grab two things, or maybe several things that I can make an adjustment in my life to be able to get to the next level. That is exactly how I've always been. I've always looked to find that little edge, that little extra thing that I can, can learn from this person and from that person. I never look at the monetary investment as, you know, oh, my gosh, I, I'm spending all this money, I, and it, it better change my life. I never said that. I said it with the hopes that I would get at least that one little nugget, that one little nugget that can get me to the next level. So that's, feel, feel free to go there, wealthcreationacademy.info. So now we're going to go into the subject that we're going to talk about. It's called how, why you must. Get out of your comfort zone. See, a lot of people are stuck in their comfort zone, and they don't even, you know, realize it. And that and I said today, we would help, we would, we would you know, I'll never forget the story with Harriet Tugman. And she, and when she freed those slaves, and they, they did an interview with her, and they asked her, you know, you know did you, do you want to go back? She said, I would go back. She said, but, I, you know, I, I realize a lot of people don't even realize that they're in slavery. They don't realize that's why they didn't want to leave when I was telling them to come the first time. They didn't realize. See, I believe society it, it, it beats us up so much that our jobs beat us up so much. Our negative friends beat us up so much to the point where we get comfortable and allow it. We get comfortable and we accept it. We get conditioned that this is okay, that it's all right for, for our negative and, and friends to tell us that, you know, we can't, we can't be successful in whatever business we're doing. We can't achieve our goals. We can't rank advance. We can't make more money. That's what we can get conditioned. So you've got to look at what is your comfort zone. To me, the comfort zone is a place where you feel comfort. That's why it's called a comfort zone. See, it's a place where there's less worry, less pain, less stress, less anxiety. Matter of fact, it's the less of everything. It's the less of everything. If you don't want to worry about anything, then you know what? You know, I heard this saying once before, if you don't want to be controversial, if you don't want to be successful, if you don't want to make it in life, you know what? Don't do nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't be anything. Just exist because that's exactly what you're doing. You just exist. See, you know, and then I said earlier, I was starting to say earlier, that we would help more people in our opportunity if, if, if they realized how much the society has beat them up. See, a lot of people have not been beat up enough. That's why they're not willing to get out of their comfort zone. Some people actually have suites in their comfort zone. They have mansions in their comfort zone because they know that this is a safe place for them. They don't, they're not worried about moving to the next. They don't want it too bad. Enough. They don't even kind of want it. See, I believe fear creates and causes people to stay in their comfort zone. Fear, which is the false evidence appearing real, which is not real, it's just a product of our thoughts, it keeps people stuck in their comfort zone. Let me tell you exactly what I mean. You worry about what everybody else is going to say. You worry about what you're going to say. You worry about the uncertainty. You worry about it's not going to happen. You worry about that too much. So fear creates that comfortness. It creates that, you know, that safe zone for you. I always believe, see, coming from a, being a New York City correction officer, one thing that I always learned, and I never knew this until I started reading Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, that the more security you have, the less freedom you have, and the more freedom you have, the less security you have. So you've got to make your choice. What's going to be your hustle? You either want to have more freedom or you want to have more security. See, I want more freedom. See, a job provides more security, but owning my own business and being successful in my own business provides more freedom. I prefer more freedom. I, don't, I can wake up tomorrow and I can get fired. I can wake up tomorrow and I can break my arm or break my leg, have a car accident, and cannot generate income anymore. So to me, that's not really security right there. That's not security. But it's a false sense of security, so a lot of us get stuck in that comfort zone where we, we, we buy into this ideal that, you know, I'm secure. I have a safe, secure job. No, you don't. You have a safe, secure job until your boss say it's time to get out. And to me, boss is double S-O-B spelled backwards. 
And if you know what SOB is, that's exactly what most bosses are. And because you have to be accumulated, you have to be whatever their day is, that's how your day is going to be. If they come in upset because they, 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 they don't, something happened at home with their spouse or something, guess what? Your day is going to be affected. Why do we do that? Why do we allow it? You know why? Because you haven't been beat up enough. You like to stay in your comfort zone. You don't realize that you need to get out of your comfort zone now. See, I always believe, and I learned this that to be a true fact, and, you know, I, I had these thoughts in my head, and I never understood what they were until I started meeting some of my mentors. And these are people that don't even know me, you know, like Tony Roberts, Les Brown, that people are driven by two things. They're driven to avoid pain, and they're driven to, to obtain pleasure. See, and that's where the, the, the trickiness can come. I've always heard that potential is a dangerous word. You know, he has a lot of potential. She has a lot of potential. When I hear that, I always say, you don't even know what you're talking about because potential is a dangerous word. They have a lot of potential for good, as they have a lot of potential for bad. They have a lot of potential to join your business. They have a lot of potential to not join your business. They have a lot of potential to go out there and make a six-figure income, and they have a lot of potential to not make a six-figure income and stay working for their double SOB, spell backwards. See, that's what you have to understand. People are driven that way. They are driven to avoid pain. They don't like the pain of rejection. They don't like the pain of change. They don't like the pain of, of, of people saying things about them. They don't like the pain of running into haters, running into jealousy people. So, but they want to obtain pleasure. The pleasure is stay mediocre, stay average, stay not going out there changing your life, stay not doing anything that's any significant thing in your life so people can like you and accept you. See, that's exactly what they do. They, they, they want that pleasure of, oh, you know, everybody likes me. Everybody loves me. See, that's the comfort zone. See, you, you got to understand, life is going to beat you down. The media, everything's going to beat you down. you got to tell yourself, is this enough? If it's enough, see, what I do is I reverse that. I associate pain with the things that I need to do to change my life and pleasure with the fact that I got to go do it. I accept pain if I don't go do this thing, if I don't go out there and I don't expose people to my opportunity, if I don't read 10 pages of a good book a day and listen to 30 minutes of a motivational CD every day, or I don't watch something every day, or, or, or I don't get up with, with positive thoughts, if I don't push affirmations in my head, guess what's going to happen? I'm going to feel pain because I've trained my brain over the years to feel pain behind that. But most people chain, associate that with pain. Oh, it's too pain. I don't have time. What you got time doing, being broke? That's what you got time doing? You got time out there never letting this year go by the same as last year? What you mean you ain't got time? Obviously, the things that you've been doing have not gotten you to what you need to have in life, so why do you keep doing them? Why do you keep doing them? And most people live their life like that. They live their life in the mediocrity, the, the, the acceptance of society, the conformity. They live for that. Me, I don't. And I'm talking to the people tonight on this call who want to change that, who want to get out of that, who want to get out of their comfort zone. They're tired of life beating them up, sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Those are the kind of people I'm talking to. So let me tell you some ways to get out of your comfort zone. I'm going to tell you right now. There's a few ways. Know exactly what you don't want in your life that you already have. Know exactly what you don't want. See, I can tell you what I have in my life that I don't want. I have debt. I have bills. I have payments that are due. I have not going where I want. I have not driving what I want. I have not wearing what I want. I have not eating what I want. I, have, I know exactly what I don't want in my life. Do you know exactly what you don't want in your life? If you do, won't you jot those things down or make a mental note right now? What are some things in your life that you don't have? You don't have that title in your company that you want to be in. You don't have the income level in your company that you want to be in. Write down the things that you don't want in your life. Know exactly what they are. Then what you need to do is you need to know exactly what you do want in your life. What is it that you do want in your life? And when you start understanding, when you get a clear, concise, mental picture of exactly what you don't want in your life that's already there, and you have an exact picture of what you do want in your life and, it's, and, and, and you, that you don't have, guess what's going to happen? You're going to start associating pain with keeping those things that you have in your life that you don't want and pleasure with, you're going to start associating pleasure with knowing that I've got to do whatever it takes to get out of this situation, to get whatever it takes that I don't have in my life. See, I believe in this. That is in my house. Mr. Bills, he got his own bedroom in my house. I need to kick him out. 
He has to go. So why should I fear success who has never arrived yet? Why should I fear a six-figure income, a seven-figure income? Why should I fear it? I've never had it yet, so I don't even know how it feels. I don't know how I don't know how it tastes. I don't know how it touches. But I do know how debt and bill feel. I do know how not having enough money telling my kids no feels. Knowing I can't go where I want, can't travel what I want, can't buy what I want, can't drive. I know how that feels. I know how it smells. I know how it tastes. I know how it, you know, everything. I know all about it. So I don't want that feeling anymore. So I'm going to associate pain with keeping that feeling and pleasure with going out there and getting rid of that feeling. So I'm going to do whatever it takes, and that's what I'm talking to the people like that who are ready to do whatever it takes to move from point A to point B no matter what. Get out of the comfort zone and move forward. Move forward in your life. You owe it to yourself to, to reclaim your birthright. Your birthright was that you were born a successful being. You were born successful. And your birthright is being giving up. It's like you're signing over your parental rights to someone else, to, to debt. You're signing over to bill. You're signing over to not have enough money, lack of, limits. You're signing that over. Stop signing it over. Claim your birthright. You may not claim it overnight. It may take several years. It may take several months, a decade, half a decade. It doesn't matter. Get your birthright back. You deserve it. And the only way is you've got to get your behind out of your comfort zone. Number two. You got to stop worrying about what other people think. They don't pay your bills. They're not your immediate family. They may weep for a day if you pass on to the next life. They're not going to weep for a year. They're not going to weep for months. They're not going to be depressed. They ain't going to think about you. Oh, he passed it by. She passed it by. You got to stop worrying about what other people say. It's a, 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 a very powerful quote that I learned from a guy that he come from the same time, hometown as my wife, has earned a million dollars this year in a company he's been in for about four and a half years, five years. And he said, when I wasn't doing anything significant in my life to change it for the better, no one cared about me. No one had an opinion. No one said anything to me. No one did, didn't care. But as soon as I started to say, I'm going to do something significant to change my life, Everybody and their mother and their little cat had something to say. Everybody. He said people had all kinds of opinions. He said, but if I knew the lifestyle I have now back then was going to happen, guess what? I would have believed a lot bigger, a lot sooner, and I would have got out my comfort zone faster, and I would have said, let's go and do what we got to do. See, that's the problem with a lot of people. You all are worrying about what everybody else is doing. See, when Lynette and I made a decision, we made a, 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 a very, very, you know, powerful decision to, to, to venture on to another company, to venture on into another avenue, or venture on into another income stream in which we had to start all over. We had to start from the very beginning. And guess what? With us, it was not a problem. It was not an issue. It was, not a, it was nothing. We didn't care because we've conditioned our brain to know that if we want what the things that we want in our life, that our comfort zone is the most dangerous place in the world to be. So you need to say that to yourself. My comfort zone is the most dangerous place to be in the world. It is not, it's not Afghanistan that you need to worry about, Kuwait. You ain't got to worry about the, 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 uh, bin Laden and all those. That, they ain't the dangerous place to be around. You ain't got to worry about the, the ghettos of the Bronx and Brooklyn. You ain't got to worry about the ghettos of your town that you live in. The most dangerous place for you to be in is your comfort zone. That's the most dangerous place. And most people park. They're behind their comfort zone, and they live there loving it, accepting everything that the comfort zone offers. Number three, stop worrying about making mistakes. See, mistakes are life lessons teaching you. They teach you. If you learn, if you learn the lesson, how, 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 how did I know that? Okay, I got on my bike. I'm only four years old, five years old, three years old. I got on my, my first bike. I took the training wheels off. I learned a little bit how to balance. I fell because I went and tried to stand up and ride my bike instead of just, you know, turn the pedals. So guess what I do? The next time I'll stand up a little bit more careful if I fall. And, you know, I, I'll do it a different way so I don't get the mistake again. See, that's what life does. It teaches you. It teaches you. Most people stay in their comfort zone because they're worried about making mistakes. They're worried about looking like a fool. I want to look like a fool. Guess what? I want to look like a fool all the way to the bank that has the millions in it, in my name. 
So I don't mind looking like a fool. Too many people worry about what other people are thinking. They're worried about how the mistake's going to look. I, gotta be, I, I hear people say this all the time. I got to learn everything first. I got to figure out everything first. See, I ain't got time to figure things out. I want to figure it out as I go along. I want to make mistakes as I go along. John Maxwell said it best in his book. You have to learn to fail forward. See, failure is a part of success. You cannot achieve success without experiencing failures first. Too many people are afraid of that pain. That's why they associate themselves with staying in the comfort zone. You better get out. Number four, stop playing the what-if negative game. What if this doesn't work? What if that doesn't work? What if this doesn't happen? What if that doesn't happen? Change your brain pattern, then tell your brain to tell your tongue to shut up whenever it says that and change it to what if it does. What if I go out there and I expose more people every day and I offer my service and my products more, I will be eventually able to make a six-figure income? What if I decide that I want to stop eating that extra sandwich and I, and I want to eat a salad in its place? What if all of a sudden I just start losing weight? What if I stop, you know, put that cigarette away and maybe put some gum in my mouth instead? Well, what if, what if I, you know, it happens and I, I, I stop smoking? What, what if? What if, what, you know, do the what if positive game. The what if positive game. Play it with yourself right now. Play it with yourself. Say, what if I do whatever your desire is, say it right now. Pete, after me. What if whatever it is that you want. See how easy that was? Now you need to say it over and over again so that you can get goosebumps. Right now, just saying it, I'm thinking of things that I know are going to happen in my life because I don't say what if no more. I say it is going to happen. I graduated. I say it is going to happen. And when I get that feeling right now, I get goosebumps because I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to be achievable. I know what, that it's going to make it. I know. What if? What if positive? What if positive? What if positive? That's how you got to look. What if positive? What if positive? What if? Always look at the positive what if. Sorry, I was talking about that. What if positive? Always say that. Number five, understand that the pain of regret hurts way more than the pain of change. Let me tell you why. Change can always happen no matter how old or how young you are. Regret is something you can never fix. It's gone. Pain of change hurts less because you can always do it. You can always change at any age. I know 70-year-old bodybuilders. I know 70-year-old uh, um, just starting out becoming millionaires. I know them. The Colonel Sanders from KFC got his millions in his late 60s or early 60s, one of them. I know it was a six and a zero somewhere. Look at that because he understood the pain of change. It hurts less than the pain of regret. How many people say, I wish, see, when, you're, when, you're, when they're throwing dirt on you and they're patting the shovel and you're six feet under and you have, you have the ability to think while you're down there as you're ready to ascend to wherever you're going to go, guess what's going to happen? You're going to say, I wish I had spent more time with my family creating those memories, more time with my, my family doing the right thing, more time eating right, more time, you know, reading the right things, more time, I wish I spent more time doing the things that you should have been doing Instead of saying, I wish I spent more time at the office building my, my, my uh, boss's uh, income, spend more time making my CEO rich, spending more time, you know, let, letting other people get to adv rank advance and not me, spending more time saying, I wish I could have got my income that I wanted to if I would have just went out there and talked to four more people every day. You could, regret is no joke. You don't want regret. I don't like regret. See, regret shows up, and regret is not a good person. Him, regret, Bill, and debt, they all have a crew together. They're a community. And I want to get away from that community. I want to excel myself. See, I'm going to raise the rent in my, in my community so that way debt, bill, and regret have to, won't be able to afford it. They don't belong in my life. So I'm going to raise the rent so that way they can't afford it. They have no choice but to move and relocate. That's what you've got to tell yourself. That's how you get out of your comfort zone. You get out by doing that. You understand, you got to understand that regret is no joke. Then you got to start having some affirmations, some good affirmations. Here's one that I want you to say. 
new things or good things because outside of my comfort zone is where awesome and magical things happen. I'm going to say that one more time. And remember, this call is going to be recorded for two weeks until the next call, and it's going to be gone. So you feel free to share it. Feel free to let everybody, if it helps them. It's not, I'm not going to speak, speak nothing about any products or service except for anything that we associate with. I'm going to make those announcements in the beginning. Feel free to share it. But I want you to say this. New things are good things because outside of my comfort zone is where awesome and magical things happen. See, people don't understand that success, that anything that you want to attain out of life, any goal that you have is mere millimeters, mere millimeters, if any, maybe micromillimeters outside of your comfort zone. See, the second you get to the barrier of your comfort zone and you're still inside, that's when panic kicks in. That's when you have to dig down deep and tell yourself that I can't let this defeat me. I, I posted a quote on Facebook, and I love it, love it. Whether I get likes or not, I don't care. But I love it. It says, whatever doesn't kill me, what most people say, makes me stronger. No, whatever doesn't kill me, better get out of my mouth, better start running. Whatever doesn't kill me, better stop running. Because that ain't kill me. It better run away from me. Regret ain't killing me, so it better run away. Bills ain't killing me. It better run away. Because it's on like popcorn for 2015. It's on. And that means I'm going to run them down. I remember when I, my first network marketing company I was in, there was a, 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 um, a team. They said their, their slogan was run them down, run them down. And, that's, and they were talking about run those goals down, run those debts away, run all that stuff out of here, run it down, run it down. And it was a, you know, they, most of them was from the, the West Indies, and I love to hear the accent as they, as they singing it. Run them down, run them down. That's exactly what we got to do. We got to learn how to run uh, that th- those goals down. We have to learn how to run out of that comfort zone. See, you got to vacuum yourself. What does a vacuum do when you run it across the floor and it's something dirty down there? It sucks it right up. Sucks it up. You got to vacuum debt away from you. You got to vacuum negativity away from you. You got to vacuum yourself out of your comfort zone. You can't walk out of your comfort zone. Hey, comfort zone, I'll see you later. Bye, peace, and hair grease. You can't do all that. You got to run out of it. You got to run it down. You got to get yourself out of it. Because the longer you stay in it, if you stay one second, that's equivalent to five years of your life being wasted. If you stay one minute, that's equivalent to 10 years of your life being wasted in the comfort zone. People don't understand that. People are so afraid of change. People are so afraid of risk. People are so afraid instead of understanding that new things are good things. Because outside of my comfort zone is where awesome and magical things happen. So I want to tell everybody thank you so much. We're going to, we're going to meet back here two weeks tonight at 6 p.m. Central Time. I hope this helped you. Please share it with everybody. I hope this little motivation really got to you because my duty is to get inside your cells. I don't want to get inside your bones. I want to get inside your DNA. And I want you to realize that inside your DNA, there's a champion. There's a winner, and you just got to be the person that goes inside your own DNA and reclaim that person. You got to reclaim it. So have a good night, everybody. God bless. See you all at the top. Hello?